Hello and welcome back to Sherwood Park Toyota. Today we're looking at a Nissan Murano Platinum in the color orange. Let's take a look. Starting up front underneath the hood, we have a 3.5 liter V6 engine, automatic transmission, gets up to 260 horsepower, 240 pound foot of torque, towing capacity up to 1,500 pounds. Up front, you've got LED headlights, customer daytime running lights, fog lights down below. Then if you look right inside, of your front logo, you've got a front facing camera there. Onto the side here, we've got 20 inch alloy wheels. Then the side mirrors include integrated turn signals, blind spot monitoring, and additional cameras underneath to contribute to the surround view camera effect. If you look at either one of your front handles, you'll find this a little button. We'll talk about that guy more on your driver's side. Moving back, all your rear windows come with factory tinting, and up top, we have silver roof rails. On the back of the unit, on the right-hand side, you have your Platinum All-Wheel Drive Trim Level Badge. Left-hand side, you've got the Murano Badge. Then directly underneath your rear logo is your backup camera. To open up your cargo space, reach next to the camera and press the button, and it should automatically rise up for you. So inside here, your second row seating has a 60-40 split on the left-hand side, which allows each side of your seats to function independently. If you're looking to lay the seats down flat, you can find little handle releases on the coordinating side that you want to release downwards. As you can see, these seats are also adjustable to, to how far back you want the pitch to be set. Currently, it is laid quite far back, but we'll look at more adjustments for that when we get up front there. Looking down, we have the original Murano carpeted mat, still in terrific condition. And then you'll find on each side, you have individual little storage spaces underneath of your false floor space. So these guys can open up one wing on each side. If you're looking for your tire kit, you can look directly underneath of the middle section here. Everything you need will be stored underneath. And then on the right hand side, you've got a little 12 volt adapter and you have tie down hooks in each one of the four corners. To close up your space back here, you can reach up to your handle on the right hand side or just press the electronic button on the left. Next, let's go take a look at the inside. So inside here, your interior upholstery is this cream colored leather or leather rat with cream colored stitching. As you can see, your seats are laid back pretty far, but they can be sat more upright if you want to have a little bit more of a stiff seat. In between the two sides, you have access to a folding down armor slash cup holder, which can easily fold away to increase your seating capacity. Then looking up overhead, there's a panoramic moonroof inside for everyone to enjoy. On the back of your front passenger and front driver seats, you've got pouch storage. Back of the console, you have a little storage space up top. You've got some of this ambient lighting going through. We also have high-low controls for your two rear seats. You've got your USB adapter and your airflow. And currently, we have the Nissan rubber mats installed in this unit. You've got two different storage spaces inside your rear door and your power window control. Now, back again to this little button. This guy indicates keyless entry, so if you have the key fob on your person, it means you can tap this little button to lock and unlock your unit. Inside, up top, power windows for both front and back. You've got your window lock, power lock system, and side mirror controls. Down below, you've got your memory seat settings, which of course means you have electronic seat adjustment back foot up, down, and a lumbar support. You've got your hood and gas release on the bottom left hand corner of your dash. On top of that, controls for heated steering wheel, traction control, and power trunk release. Then you have your dash brightness, trip reset, and you have power tilt and telescopic controls for the steering wheel. The steering wheel itself is the same cream colored leather with cream stitching like your seats. Left hand side, you have controls for hands-free communication, you've got the controls here for your dash display, as well as for your radio and your volume control. Right hand side is everything for cruise control. Up top, you've got your four ways, and then in the middle is your infotainment display screen. This is where you go to access much, much of the information about your daily driving experience. Currently, we're looking at the menu, as you can see highlighted in the middle. Much of what is available along this bottom panel is also available in the buttons on either side. But you can scroll through your menu to see other things, including your AM, your previous destinations, Nissan App Connect, XM Traffic, XM Sports, Stocks, 
fuel prices, etc. You also have your edit menu, and of course the clock display here with the date as well. You always have the clock in the top right hand corner. Going left from this, you've got your information. So Nissan Connect, XM Weather, XM Traffic, XM Sports, Stocks, Fuel Prices, Movie Listings, Vehicle. You also have your Where Am I, Weather Alerts, Nav versus Nav Versions, and your GPS position. Then you have your phone, so this is for connecting your personal device to the vehicle via Bluetooth. You would use this for hands-free communication. And then lastly, if it'll let me, you've got your audio listening here. So this is where you have access to your AM, FM, and satellite radio, full Bluetooth connectivity, optional adapters for USB and aux, and of course you've got the CD player up top. From the middle and over, you have your navigation, so you've got the map, you have the navigation settings themselves, everything from points of interest, home, phone numbers, you've got city center, your freeway, store routes, etc. And then you have all of your settings on the right. So everything from Bluetooth, navigation, display, volume, sounds, menu editing, language, units, etc. So all of this is on the left, you can get back to menu by pressing the top left. Then you have the map. You have your controls for your dash display brightness, for you can have it for day as well as for night. You have the audio volume control. Top right, you have your camera, so you don't have to turn your vehicle on and put it into reverse. You can have it in accessory or just have it in park. And you can press it once to get one view, press it again to get a different third one, we'll go back to home. The rest of this is all of audio tune scrolls. Then this middle section at the bottom here, we have the climate control center. Dual climate control up front means you can either have your temperatures synced up or you can turn on the dual, which allows each side to function independently. You have defrost for front and rear windshield. Underneath, we have the dial controls for heated and cooled seats. So there, it's a little hard to see on camera, but there is the different color coding on here. So you have the left, which is blue, and the right, which is red, three different levels for each. And you would put it right in the middle, you'll see the light turn off, and then there's no heat or cool going to your seat. Of course, for driver and front passenger. Next to that, you've got your 12 volt adapter on one side, push start ignition on the other. Then you've got your gear shift, you've got your cup holders behind this. You've got this little pop away space. Inside here you have some charger adapters and general storage spaces. Then you have the console itself, so this guy opens up. There's a moving tray up top, and then all of the storage spaces down below inside. On the right hand side you can see a little bit more of the ambient lighting throughout the unit that there is, and there is a glove box down below. Up overhead on the rearview mirror, one, two, and three houses. These guys are garage door openers. Lastly up top here, You've got your sunglasses compartment, overhead lighting controls, and the controls there for the panoramic moonroof. Thanks again, folks, for joining us on this full video tour for this Nissan Murano Platinum in the color orange. It is located here at Sherwood Park Toyota at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta. You can also reach us at 780-306-7703. And remember, life is full of choices. Let us be yours.